Rob from Hopteen.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bottle of Celia, or Celia, gluten-free beer. This is a, a brand new product which I got a sent a sample of by uh, the, the brewery's um, UK distributor which is called GF London. Um, got all the, all the details on there. So it's premium Czech lager, so it's brewed as a proper Czech lager it says. It's 100% um, um, Sartz hops, it's, uh, all the grains come from, uh, from the Zatek region, uh, north of Prague. And the only thing it does, it uses a specific kind of um, technique um, during the, uh, uh, as it says there, it says brewed via a new process developed by the Research Institute of Brewing and Malting in Prague. So uh, it doesn't say that they're using uh, sorghum or something like that, which a lot of gluten-free beers do, but it is 4.5% ABV. It's got a gluten content of 0.5, so it's really kind of like right down there. But yeah, one thing that interests me most is that it's 100% um, sats, which for, I mean, you can, if you're going to uh, develop a, um, a gluten-free beer and it's going to be a pilsner, if you're going to develop it in Czech Republic, it's it's worth looking at. So please do check these guys out online. Like it's www.celialager.co.uk and you can follow them on, follow them on Twitter, Celia Lager, and on Facebook. You, mean, you get a picture, but yeah, give it a go. Especially if you're gluten intolerant. So I mean, more and more people are, if you've got celiac disease or they have kind of like an intolerance. Um, I have had an interest in these in the past because a friend of mine thought she was um, kind of developing that kind of condition and um, started to look towards other things. And I, I tried quite a lot of, of um, gluten free beers around that time. But yeah, this one sounded quite interesting. So yeah, when, I, when they offered me some stuff, well, I'll, give it, I'll give it the time of day and see what it's like. You never know. I'm always open for the, to be a, a good beer out there. For people who can't really safely enjoy beer, we're well, I mean, it's more of a, I guess, discomfort than anything. And um, anyway, let's waffle. A beer in the glass, um, pure, I mean, it's beautifully filtered. Uh, if, I mean, obviously for a lager, I mean, you probably do want it filtered. Um, good amount of carbonation, not too brisk. Uh, it's, it's a yellowy, bronzy kind of colour. The head, pure white kind of um, fire extinguisher foam on the top. So let's check out the aroma. It smells like lager, as you'd expect. That, um, but yeah, definitely that kind of herby note that you get from um, from the sarts. It's, yeah, that kind of grassy, um, more kind of flat leaf parsley. It's like mineral note. But yeah, big aroma of kind of Pilsner malt. <sighs> yeah, it smells like a lager. So let's give it a taste. Cheers. Hmm, interesting. It's full flavoured. Reminds me of um, a bit of Vorchek from um, Bear Town. It's got a good amount of body. It's got a bit of it's got a bit of nutmeg, kind of ginger. Yeah. Quite a big hot flavour and it's it's got a, it's quite a big hot bitterness actually for a lager. It's got a, it's the, um, one thing that reminds me of uh, when you used to get sherbet fountains. I never liked the licorice, so I'd give it to my mum. But then the licorice, the sherbet would be left with a, a certain point of a, kind of a licorice note to it. So it's got that licorice sherbet thing going on, which is odd. There is quite a bit of DMS, which is that kind of, kind of cream corn, kind of note that you get in some lagers. It's refreshing. It's got a lot of flavour. It's not bad and I'm sure uh, for people who are gluten intolerant this is going to be one of the better ones out there. For me, just as a beer drinker, um, 
it's not one of my favourite lagers I've ever had. It's certainly better than the kind of the the the, the big three. It's better than Miller cars and all that bullshit. Sorry, um, it's got a bit more flavour than that. And it's got good intentions behind it. I don't know who's behind this. I don't know which bigger brewery. I'm, I don't know who it is. I don't know much about it. I've read it on the website. You can look, check it out for yourself. If you are gluten intolerant, give it a go. If you're a beer drinker, see nice and cheap. It's not a bad lager. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. So that's a bottle of Celia or Celia uh, gluten free lager. It's 4.5% ABV. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, but I'm not singing and dancing. Anyway, I'm Rob from popzine.com. See you next time. Cheers.